Hey guys, this is Doug. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try to do a little helpful hack video here on how to change your governor springs through the top of your AFC housing. And I'm going to show a little bit on the truck here, and I'm going to show a little bit on a pump that we have out of the truck. So this is a third gen swapped truck, so it has a 12 valve and a third gen body. Um, so it's a little bit different than it would be with just a second gen. So what we've got going on here is if you have a stock truck, truck you're gonna have the AFC housing. You can see them over here. I've already slid it out of the way. So you're gonna have the AFC housing and you're also gonna have your fuel plate, which I've already taken out. There's just two screws on the fuel plate. Let me pause this for a second. All right, here's our fuel plate. I just grabbed that. So there's gonna be two screws that go in the top here. Um, and that guy just sits right down there where you see you see one screw there and you see another one there. Now, if you're working on this and you have a stock truck and it's never been messed with and you're trying to do this, you are gonna have tamper resistant screws on the top of that AFC housing, which means you have to fight. So let me show you the screws here. So here's the screws I've just gone through. They're just like M8 1.25, I think, is the thread pitch on those. Um, so you're going to have to go ahead, use a cold chisel, use a hacksaw, something to go ahead and get those four screws, one, two, three, and then one is back over here, four. Um, and to do that, you're probably going to have to pull your, not probably, you're going to have to pull your air horn off and your injector lines the first go round. Now, putting these back together, people may curse and swear at me, but I just put three in. Two, because I, we have the fuel shut off solenoid over here, so it has to be properly sized, and this is soft aluminum, so don't strip them out. So one, two, three, go back in this guy. That way I can pull this and modify it without having to pull the intake horn and the injector lines, okay? So that will give you an idea of what it looks like in the truck. You don't have a ton of room. Um, the main reason for this is if you know, if you've watched other videos, you have an access panel down there. So way down in that black hole down there, you have got a spot where it's got an access plug. And I'll show it when we switch over to the other pump. So you've got a spot where you can actually access the governor springs right through the side of the housing. Problem is, is that is in a terrible, terrible spot. And every time you do it, you lose some oil out of the pump. It makes a mess. So after doing these a whole bunch of time, times, I prefer going through the top. We've got a tool that we created for it where you can go in there, you grab it, you do it by clicks when you're tightening them, and it's pretty easy. So let me go ahead and switch over to the other pump so we can actually see what we're working on. All right, we've got the other pump. Don't mind that it's dirty. This is just a core pump we have that we're gonna be using on a different project. So no injection lines out of the truck. You know, as you saw, these things actually slant at an angle. So we've got the AFC housing and that's what I, it was all hooked up. So this is where your air line comes in over here. Okay, so that guy, I just moved off to the side fuel plate so this is just a stock fuel plate all right so you've got to undo these two bolts right here like we talked about and you're gonna move that guy to the side now this is the port see that right there that is the port that's facing down where you can actually take your springs out if you want to do it that way that right there see how nice and right up front that is We've got it spun just perfectly right now. Um, this is the tool that we make, and it goes right in there. It's sized to fit right inside that guy, and then you would adjust it for the number of clicks. Sorry, I'm trying to do this left-handed. Not going to work. Okay, so just to give you an idea here. There's one click, two clicks, three clicks, four clicks, 
and sorry that was a little out of so five clicks is basically sorry I'm looking at the camera that's what's making this so hard to do but you can see there it's rotating basically with no real effort on it so when you're going to put these things back in we'll talk about that but just because we're so yep dropped it um, just because we're showing it right now that's like the first real click right there you can feel it and it's it's still really soft that's the first hard click so what we've been setting ours to is you go to the first hard click so you go right to the first hard click that's the first soft click second third that's the first hard click and then one two three okay so that's how we've been setting them up um, the so we I actually am doing these to back this guy off some so the idle wouldn't come down uh, so it, it was a high idle so it was like 1100 is where it was idling and when I tried to bring the idle down using the idle screw over here which is right back here it's what that lever is resting on um, it would just die so it wouldn't start and it would die as I brought it down so that let me know that I went ahead and I I had my governor springs probably one click too tight so I'm gonna go ahead on the truck I'm gonna back them off one click on each one now that's through this little port that's how you would do it through the side you would access that panel but you got to remember you got stuff you got the plate for your throttle linkages over here you've got stomach stuff coming back through here so it's not quite as easy as it looks when you've got a pump sitting on the bench hence why I'm gonna show you this method over here so as you can see here we've got not a huge opening but it's also not insignificant and down in there you can see the springs when you get this to the right spot you're going to be able to see the springs basically facing up right against this governor that's where the governor comes up and it's got the governor foot that comes up there and rides against that so it's going to be basically sticking straight up I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to its position and then we'll come back I have no idea if I can actually get this while trying to shoot the footage of it let me swap hands here for you guys I know these are all kinds of crazy angles but bear with me okay so I'm gonna take that one two and it helps to count so you know where they're set at count the clicks going backwards three four five and then it kind of rolled through six so that had basically five till it got really soft so and don't base it off of that I've messed with this pump a ton so don't base it off of that okay with this tool we're just going here and by the way this is the prototype this is not what the ones that we sold looked like this is the very very first one okay so we have the screw there this is inside your pump guys do not I repeat attention do not mess this up um, so here's what we've got we have got a magnet all right one of the long skinny stick magnets this is not the big one you've got to be able to control this you're gonna go in there and you're gonna suck that guy up okay you've got room here where you can get stuff out and remember it's gonna want to stick to everything okay where that is absolutely important to not overdo it okay so we've got our little magnet in here and go back in here and I'm grab the collar now sometimes you're gonna find like I just did that I don't have it far enough to the side to be able to get get that out easily but I did I was able to wiggle it out you do not want to lose any of these in your pump so this is the process that we would be doing if we were changing 
out our springs. And you're thinking, you are crazy, but I promise it is way easier. Okay, you see that? Now we want to make sure to leave the outer spring, and it's hard when you're doing this and watching yourself through the camera. We wanna leave the outer spring in place. So you can get all of these springs out through the openings. I know you're saying, holy crap, you're out of your mind. I'm not out of my mind. Done this a bunch of times. So down here, you can see that we still have, sorry, our center spring down there. Try to grab the focus on that. Okay. Oh, I got a hold of the big spring. Okay, and that would be our center spring. So we would get all the shims, all the other stuff, and we would make sure that we don't leave anything down there. All right, after that, you'd put in the spring set that you want to use. I don't have a spring set, so we would just put these back in the pump um, in exact reverse order, putting all of the stuff back in as your directions say, and then we would go ahead and tighten this guy back down. All right, so there's our large spring. You can see us, we're using this magnet. We're gonna fish it back down the hole and back into the place. Now this seems crazy to do, but it will save you a ton of time versus trying to do it the other way. And it is much faster when you're not trying to record yourself doing it. And to break it off there so that you're not, you just kind of take the magnet and flick it sideways to break the suction on it. So it's the exact same thing. We're gonna stick it down in there. Kind of fish it down, and then I'm gonna kind of hold it against the center stud and flick it sideways. And then we're gonna do the top nut in the same fashion, just like that. We're gonna put it down there, and you guys get the idea. We're gonna button it back up. But that is how you take the governor springs, you can change them, you can adjust them. Obviously adjusting them is way easier than actually taking them in and out. But you can do that right from the top of your AFC port without having to spill a whole bunch of oil and cause yourself a bunch of headache. All right, hopefully that was helpful, guys. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below, and uh, I'll do what I can to kind of guide you in the right direction. As you can see here, that stud is, is one directional, so you just have to get it to a place where it pops on. Not a big deal. You can use it with a screwdriver at that point, or you can use the magnet to turn it around till it drops over the stud. All right, take care guys.